name? Hi, my name is Tyler Plews. Sport. I'm a defenseman for the Swindon Wildcats. First memory of your sport? My first memory of playing hockey would be just being around the rink and watching my dad play when I was a child. And he's also the reason why I got involved in the sport, just from watching him from a young age. And um, yep, starting hockey when I was young as well and still playing till now. What's the biggest misconception about your sport? Everyone just thinks it's aggression and fighting and hitting. And those factors play a big part in the sport, but a lot of people don't see that there's a skill side and how fast paced it is and just the excitement that a game brings. Why should people get involved? There's a lot of reasons why hockey is getting more popular in the UK and a lot of people don't think that hockey is quite a big sport but it's slowly growing. It's the excitement as well, people people don't realise how they play. Obviously being on an ice is a big it's a big difference from playing sport on just normal ground, so that brings the excitement as well. What's your mantra? I don't have a mantra as such when I play. Uh, I morally have like a routine that I follow every every day before the game. I always like get changed, go to the rink at the same time, put my kit on at the same the same way, warm up the same way. Do you have a lucky mascot? I wouldn't say I've got a lucky mascot as such. Or my team does have a mascot called Scratch. Some people say he brings luck, some people say he doesn't. But yep, he's our mascot. What's your hype song? Bad Boy for Life by Diddy. That song we used to play after every game that we won. Um, we ended up winning the season, the league that season. And yeah, it's just stuck with me ever since. Gets me fired up before a game. Onside. Offside. Yeah, that is right. It's time for the onside quiz, our true or false sports quiz. And Tyler Plews, the Swindon Wildcats, has graced us with his presence this evening. Here we go. You get one of those. Cheers, Tyler. How are you doing? Sorry, that kind of <laughs> graced us with his presence is very, usually used very sarcastically. I've meant that entirely genuinely. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good, mate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm very excited to have you, have you on. How long have you been playing for the Wildcats? Uh, four seasons now. Amazing. And how's it going in Swindon? Enjoying it? It's good, it's good mate, yeah. Obviously, I'm, I'm not from Swindon, so it's nice being somewhere else and playing hockey. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a dream. So Sunny it's old Swindon. Beautiful. Glad you're enjoying it. Um, how is your general sports trivia, though, Tyler? <laughs> um, oh, mate, I, I'll, we'll be able to find out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that is the uh, correct so answer. Got... <laughs> we are indeed about to find out. Um, so, yeah, it's true or false. As I say, onside is true, offside is false. Is that all cool? Sounds good, yep. Perfect, all right, well, let's press this button and get into it. Okay, question number one. Real Madrid beat Liverpool 1-0 in the 2018 European Champions League final. Is that onside or offside? Onside. That is offside. It was 3-1. Uh, question number two. It's all good. It's all good. We'll keep going from it. Uh, question number two. Charles Leclerc and Sergio Perez are the current Ferrari drivers in Formula One. Onside or offside? That is onside. It's offside. It's Charles Leclerc and Carlos God. Sainz. <laughs> We're off to a flying no start here, Tyler. This is going well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question number three. BBC Radio Wiltshire's Kelly Morgan won a weightlifting bronze medal at the 2002 Commonwealth oh, Games in Manchester. Onside or offside? That's very specific. Yeah, um, that's a complete guess as well. I'm going to say onside. Surely it has to be an onside one. It's offside! <laughs> she won. She, she got bronze in the javelin at the uh, 2002 oh, Commonwealth okay. Games in Manchester. Uh, right, nice. we're going to get this one though, okay? We're going to get this one. Question number four. The longest standing individual world record in athletics is the women's 800 metres at 1 minute 53.28 seconds. Is it? I mean, most of these for me so far have been a guess. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, we'll go off, onside with this. Onside. <sighs> okay. I'm going to let you have that one. Onside it is. Bang. There we go. Congratulations. <laughs> we'll give you a brief one of these. Yeah, there we go yeah, for one. the uh, confidence there. Okay, question number five. New England test cricket coach Brendan McCullum is from Australia. Onside or offside? Offside. It's offside. He's from New Zealand. Here we go. We've turned a leaf. This is it. Question number six. <laughs> Devises canoeist Ed McKeever won gold at the London 2012 Olympics. Okay, I'm going to point out the thing to focus on here is maybe where he's from. <laughs> what, what was the name? What the was question, the name, sorry? 
Devise's yeah, canoeist question. Ed McKeever won gold at the London 2012 <laughs> Olympics. Yeah, we'll go offside for that one. <laughs> I've probably given that one away, haven't I? A treat. Uh, it was, in fact, Bradford on Avon. There we go. That was a free one from me to you. Uh, question I number seven. <laughs> <laughs> Question number seven. <laughs> Paul Barber, Sean Curley and Imran Shawani are all associated with hockey. Onside or offside? Offside. He's in fact onside. They won Olympic gold with Great Britain in 1988. So oh. we are heading into the eighth question with three correct answers right now. Wembley Stadium has a smaller, qu uh, smaller capacity than the now camp in Barcelona or new camp if you're very British. Mm, also, um, I couldn't tell. Offside. Go offside for this one. It is onside. The now camp onside. is bigger. Uh, question yeah, wow. number nine. <laughs> <laughs> Christian you know that. The line. <laughs> there the, there's horse racing, uh, horse racing at Salisbury tomorrow, including the Whitsbury Manor Stud British EBF Novice Stakes over five furlongs at 5:35. Onside or offside? That's a wildly, <laughs> uh, wildly precise question. That that is that is. We'll go onside. It is, in fact, onside. Like, if someone had made that up, I would have been, yeah, yeah blown yeah. away by that. Blown away. <laughs> uh, OK, final question for you. To score a whopping 5 out of 10, a rugby union anthem, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, was a top 10 hit in the official singles chart. Onside or offside? Onside. It's offside. It was a, a, It peaked at 15th. <laughs> it peaked at 15th. So there we go. Oh. We're going to give you one of these... <laughs> There you go. You get a cheer. Thank I'll you very that, much, mate. Tyler. Thank you very much. Um, that's, that's four, four better than I thought I'd get. So I'm happy four out of ten. I mean, that puts you. I mean, you you might think that's not a brilliant score, but you know what? Four puts you into, I believe, it's that joint eighth place. So there we go. Yeah, have a brief one again. There we go. Um, Tyler, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on, though, mate. Thank you very much for coming and getting involved and taking on the onside quiz. Um, we're swimming Wildcats. Where can people come and watch you? Obviously, you're like next coming, forthcoming season and all of that. Um, how, do, how can people come and check out you guys playing? Yeah, well, uh, our, our season will start the September coming. Mm -hmm. um, we play down at the Better Link in Swindon and um, in Wiltshire, obviously. But it's uh, yeah, come down. It's a great weekend. It's a great night for the family, and um, it's always exciting to to watch us play.